Hi, I'm Joan, and Gary and I love sourdough bread, but I'm thinking, how can I do this while I travel in the van? Because if you're going to be gone for any length of time, I don't know, I just don't want to give it up. I never buy store-bought bread anymore. So anyway, today is the experiment, doing it in the Sprinter van. So come on in. The timing for sourdough is really important. You have to kind of think in advance. I know that I want to bake tomorrow, which means I have to start my prep today, which means I want to feed my starter. So to begin with, I want to talk about some things that I need. Um, I do have my filtered water, and my filtered water should be at 78 degrees. Let's just check it right now. So this is 77.9, obviously close enough, right guys? Okay. I do need my bread flour for feeding. I have my scale, my digital scale, which of course is in grams and then a way of stirring my sourdough, my starter. So I do want to get my, my cold starter out of the fridge. And I've had this for, this starter I've had for, I don't know, at least a year and a half. Um, so it's great. So what we want to do, if you come over here, you can kind of see what this looks like on the inside. And it's not attractive, but that's okay. So. What I always do is I start by just giving a little stir, mix that all in. And I'm also going to, if you can see, I'm also like, I know this is weird, but I always scrape down the sides. Because for some reason, I think that that's good stuff on the side. So I scrape that down into my mixture. I'm gonna do that, all right? Okay, so some people say, well, how much do you feed your starter? And it really depends on how much starter I have in my jar. Sometimes, you'll see it's really low right now, I just have that much, and that's because I made um, sourdough crackers before. Sometimes it's pretty full. So when I see it down this low, I'm probably going to put in, I'm gonna say 150 grams of flour, bread flour, and then 150 grams of filtered water, 78 degrees of course, and I'm gonna give it a stir, and that should be enough, and then I'll move my rubber band up, you'll see that in a minute. So I'm gonna add the flour, and then here's our gram. So I'm gonna put this on, all right? And I'm going to hit the tear button, tear tar, I don't know what it is. And I'm going to hit that and it's going to zero out. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to take my, my 78 degree water and I'm going to add my 150 grams of this. So here we go. Whoop, whoop. 156, not the end of the world, all right? So what I'll do now is I'm going to give this a stir. always like scraping the sides it's my thing <laughs> anyway give it a stir there it is all right okay back on it goes okay now I'm gonna zero it out again there we go okay now I'm going to add my flour carefully without making a mess Okay, let's see what happens here. So we're gonna do 150 on here. Oh, there we go, look at that. <laughs> I love when it's perfect. So I did 156, oh, there went to 157. Um, so, because you want, when I bake with this recipe, it's 100% hydration, which means the same amount of water to the same amount of flour. Um, and I just think it makes a better bread. When I was first learning how to make sourdough, I would do like, because I was afraid of it being wet, I was doing like an 80% hydration, but it's easy peasy doing 100%, you'll just get used to it. So anyway, now I'm gonna take this off, turn off my scale, of course, and I'm gonna give this a nice, I'm gonna mix this up really well. It's, it smells, it really smells good too. I mean, you don't have to beat it up, obviously, but you do wanna make sure that you're not leaving like flour around the sides. Okay, I think it's pretty good actually. Okay, cool. So again, I have the whole fear of when you're traveling, worrying about like bugs going in there, which would be a nightmare, just saying. So I put a little bit of my plastic wrap on top. I just lightly put that on. Check this out. I'm gonna hold this up to the light and I'm gonna move my rubber band up. I'll, I know when it's ready, but if you're not sure, um, I always wanna make sure that it's doubled. And um, 
and sometimes if you forget like how much you had in there, it's rising, you don't know, you just don't even remember. So this is here and I'll probably come back tonight um, and it'll be double and it'll be rounded on the top. We'll talk about that. I'll show you when it's ready, what it looks like. Now here we go. Um, what do I do? Okay, it depends on where you live, where you are. Um, where I'm at right now, it is cool out, okay? So I know that this guy wants to be 78 degrees to 84 degrees to do its job. Simple as that. I've been doing this for a while. And so I love, 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 hang on, get this stuff out of the way. Oh my God, I love this countertop in this kitchen, by the way. I knew, because I love to bake and cook, I needed to have a big countertop, so I'm so happy. So I'm going to plug in my wonderful, love this thing, my little seed starter. This is gonna go back in here and sit out, I'm gonna say generally it's four to six hours, but I check on it and then hopefully tonight it'll be ready and I will then make my leaven for the bread, but that's another step. So right now we've just fed our starter. This is a routine. Again, again, this guy needs to be 78 to 84 degrees, maximum 84, um, to do its job and to make really delicious bread. So it's gonna sit there for a while and we'll come back to it later on. Let's talk about today. We fed the starter. And the thing about like this whole two day thing with baking sourdough, like honestly, don't worry about it. I ended up doing an entire photo shoot, which was phenomenal by the way, at the beach and uh, came back, did a little work in Lightroom, uh, watched a little bit of the football game, and now so, come on over here. We have our little um, warming pad. And now we're gonna try to, to get a little light on this. So let's take a peek. Look at that. Can you see bubbly? <laughs> Smells like bread. And ch check it out, look at my rubber band. So we've doubled it, right? We've doubled. And there's also like that little roundness on the top. But let's talk about another way you can be sure, 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 okay? Hang on, unlock my drawers. So check this out. I have a little bit of water here and you need to do this test, I think all the time. So I'm gonna take a little bit out. Let's see if this works. Uh, oh, yeah, of course it works. So let's, it down here can you see let's just see here do you see it's floating can you guys see that it's floating okay so what you want to make sure is that your your starter's ready if it floats which is perfect it smells great it's bubbly it kind of rounded you know the whole thing about p the word peak starter it's because peak it like it's come to its peak and like the tricky thing about this you don't want to like go too long because then it could be peak and then it can start to drop down again. So this is like absolutely perfect, 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 ready to make the leaven for tomorrow's baking. So that's what we're doing next. This is going over here. Don't need this anymore. Okay. So I'm ready to start making the leaven, which is the beginning, putting the ingredients in from actually making the final bread, okay? Our white starter, I have just my empty like lips lip block container, okay? For my recipe, I'm going to take three, what I'll call heaping, ah, heaping tablespoons, dang, it's very gluteny. Three heaping, there's another one. And I'm gonna drop it, and another one's coming, so this is pretty good. Yeah, a uh, little, little bit more for good measure, I can't help myself. So that's from that, okay? Now, here we go. Just gonna hang that on there. Oh, it'll probably fall in, never mind. Okay, so now, the next thing I put in is my old cold leaven, okay? So this is the leaven I had from the last batch I made, all right? So now, come look in here and do not be afraid when you see in here, see that? <laughs> it is not attractive, but, but it's good stuff, honestly. Oh shoot, my magnet is, this is, this is magnetic. Oh, anyway, um, so 
<laughs> I honestly, I know it looks so bad, but why do you think the bread tastes so good? So anyway, I'm giving it a little stir, the old leaven. Okay, giving it a good stir. Okay, now on this, I'm gonna take two tablespoons of the old cold leaven. One and two, okay? So that is the basis. And now we're gonna add our filtered water and our flowers, okay? That's every little bit of goodness there. Okay, so that's in there. And what's a weird thing about the recipe is everything is in grams, but this part is in tablespoons. So don't worry about it, it's just do what you have to do. So this is where we begin with. Now, here we go, put that on there. I'm gonna zero it out, okay? I'm zeroing that out. Okay, now, the next step, I've got my water. We are going to put in, and you know, I cover everything because I'm worried about bugs in the outside. We're gonna put in 200 grams of 78 degree water. Let's just check that temperature, all right? Let's see if we're lucky here. Oh, come on down here, look at that. 78.879, very good, very good, very good. So 200 grams, I will not screw this up. Damn close. Ooh, there you go, love that, okay. I'm gonna give it a stir, mix it all up, okay? How many shows will show you the inside of the leaven with all the I don't know if it's what they call it on top, hooch or something, but anyway. So now, check this out. I put that back on the scale. I'm going to zero it out again. Okay, let me move this stuff down here a little bit. Clean up my stuff. I'm done with this for now. Okay, so now we're going to put in 100 grams of our bread flour, okay? Carefully. So close. Whoop. There you go. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, perfect. And now, 100 grams of our wheat flour is going in next, okay? Our whole wheat flour. So let's zero this out, okay? And let's... I know, neurotic, right? Neurotic. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to do, move my scale out of the way. We're going to turn that off. And we're going to give it a stir. Okay? So I'll mix this up pretty good. And this is our leaven. This is what we're going to be baking the bread from. You know, it's funny. Everybody thinks you bake your bread directly from the white starter. But not with this recipe. I've tried other recipes where I did it right, just right from the white starter. They just didn't turn out good for me. They like either be really flat pancake breads or big giant holes in it. I don't know, but once I got this recipe figured out, I really had such good luck. So come on and look at this. It's pretty thick. So I'm happy with that. Scrape along the sides, okay? So next mission, the usual a little bit of saran wrap, just a light lid on it. But, okay, rubber band. Do I have one? Oh dang, okay. Well, for now, I'm gonna borrow this rubber band. Okay, so this is my new leaven. This is the one that we're making our bread from. And I'm gonna do the usual, right? There's my rubber band at the top of where it is, okay? Now, this one, does not take the heating pad, okay? This leaven is supposed to sit overnight at around 65 degrees. So if your house is super hot, it's not gonna work. It's gonna be like, it's gonna get bubbled up way too fast. So 65 degrees just it gives it a chance to just slowly, slowly like develop flavor overnight. And then tomorrow you'll see this will be popped up. It might even be overflowing. And then we're gonna make our bread from it. So we're gonna let this sit just in a moderate temperature, 65 degrees and we'll be using it tomorrow to bake our bread. So that's that, I'm gonna clean up now.